People tend to not recognize us or disapprove of us when we live differently than what they're used to. In this video, we're going to be talking about living authentically, honoring yourself, the necessity to do so, as well as some of the challenges that come with that and how to navigate that. But first, I'd like to ask you, have you ever had someone say to you something along the lines of, you've changed, you're different now, I don't even recognize you anymore. Or maybe they just didn't approve of this new version of you. To some degree, I think everyone experiences this at some stage in their life. Welcome to Wild Impact. Here we use nature, the animal kingdom, as our guide and as our reference to provide you with the unique perspectives and strategies to help you navigate your day-to-day -day life in a more fulfilling, effective, and successful way. And on this episode, we'll be doing that by taking a close look at a baby albatross bird who was not even recognized by his own mother and why that was, how it resolved, to see what we can learn and gather from their experience, their failures and success so that we can experience more success in our own day-to-day -day lives. So diving into it here, we see a mother albatross bird who after being away for a very long time finally comes back to the nest to feed her chick. But there is a big problem. The chick is not in the nest. The chick has actually fallen out of the nest and is directly on the ground, directly next to the nest. Albatross birds build their nests on the ground rather than trees. And strangely, albatross birds do not recognize their own chicks by sight, smell, or even sound. They only recognize their chicks by them being in the nest where they're supposed to be. So the mother sees her chick struggling for its life, trying to get back into the nest and doesn't help because she doesn't recognize it. She's thinking, you're not my child because if you were my child, you'd be in the nest, but you're not in the nest, so you're not my child, so... The chick is climbing and struggling and fighting for its life to get back into the nest to receive its mother's warmth and it finally reaches the nest. And once it does, the mother immediately recognizes it as its own and the bond is immediately reestablished. Now, although it is essential for that chick to get back into that nest where it does need to be, how often do we try to crawl into a nest or remain in a nest where we just don't belong, just to fit into someone else's limited perception of us? For example, if you're a person with a self-growth mindset and you're interested in new ways to improve and evolve and expand, then you know very well that not everyone has that same priority, which means you also know that not everyone approves of your evolvement. They want you to stay where you are, not out of any malicious intent, but rather they're simply afraid of losing you. Or maybe you've decided to take on a new mentality and to be more optimistic and more grateful in your day-to-day. -day. Or maybe you're trying a new fashion style. Or maybe you're trying an all-around healthier lifestyle with healthier food and reading books and practicing meditation and so on. If you've decided to ditch some of your old ways to try something new, that is you evolving. And you've probably experienced some resistance and pushback from your friends and family and co-workers and so on. Do any of these comments sound familiar to you? What do you think, you're Buddha or something? Why are you going on that meditation retreat and reading all those books for? Let's just go to the party and drink instead. Or, okay, Mr. Cool Guy or Cool Girl, you think you're slick now because you got a nice sports coat and a fancy dress? You look stupid. Just put on the clothes that you used to wear. Or, we used to talk shit and complain all the time. How come you're trying to be Mr. and Mrs. Positive all of a sudden? What's wrong with you? Does any of that sound familiar to you? I mean, even if they haven't explicitly said it to you, Perhaps you've sensed some people in your life treating you in that way or viewing you in that way. And just to be crystal clear here, there is absolutely nothing wrong with going to a party, watching the game, or drinking, or wearing or not wearing certain clothes. There's not even a, anything wrong with complaining. There's, there's a time, a place, and a healthy way to do everything. The point I'm simply making is that people tend to not recognize us and disapprove often when we act and behave differently than what they're used to. The people who truly love you will support the changes that you're making. They will encourage your growth. They will always recognize you, whether you're in or out of the nest. But far, far too often, in a deep-rooted attempt to not be exiled from our tribe, 
We restrict our involvement and our authenticity by not listening to our intuition, by not honoring our spirit, which is craving expansion, by not taking action on the type of life that we truly desire. And instead, we will either remain or go back to our old ways of thinking, our old ways of feeling and thinking and behaving as we used to in order to fit in with everyone else. Fitting in, being accepted as a member of a tribe, is a primal and essential instinct. It's what's kept us alive for millions of years. But in this day and age, being primarily or overly concerned with fitting in doesn't serve us, not nearly as much as it once did, where merely surviving was the only concern in life. Nowadays, we have the responsibility and the privilege, the privilege, the privilege, to live authentically, to pursue our passions and to share our gifts. And the world needs that now more than ever. No matter what you are interested in, there is a large community there waiting for you, all of whom will recognize you. Find your authentic nest, fly with your authentic flock of albatross birds, and enjoy the view. If this video resonated with you, check out these videos right here where I talk a little bit more about finding those trusted, friends and family and members of your tribe that you can live authentically with. You enjoying this video and finding it helpful in any way? Tap the like button below if there's value here for you. I'd love to hear from you about how this particular lesson of the Albatross Bird will be helpful for you moving forward. Name one area in your life which you are trying to live more authentically and did you receive any pushback from anyone on that? Leave a comment below so that myself and our fellow brothers and sisters here can read your comment for some inspiration. We want to support and encourage our growing community here. We also want to support and encourage authenticity. So share this video with a fellow flock member of your albatross family, someone who lives authentically, someone who inspires you to do the same. Be sure to follow and subscribe with notification to the channel so that you can get videos like this as well as other and similar types of videos and content that I'll be regularly posting so that you can get your daily dose of nature and inspiration. Till next time, stay wild.